Hey everyone. So, um, first disclaimer, Lula's in the other room watching her shows, so you might hear her from time to time as most of you should know by now, but just in case you're new. <laughs> All right. So today's topic was a requested topic. I can't remember all the exact wording, but in summary, but in summary, this person was asking about how to have confidence in particular when in a relationship and struggling with jealousy. I know that those may not be the exact words, but that's the basically the feeling um in summary they were asking about or the topic in summary they were asking about i don't know how much help i'm gonna be with this but i'm gonna try my best because like i always say what works for me may not work for you um so the best way that i can kind of guide through this <laughs> to the best of my ability would be to talk about myself in this scenario only because that's the only comfortable way I can kind of get my point across. Um, Cause obviously I'm most familiar with the things that I have been through. Um, <clears throat> so for the person who was asking this as well as anybody else who may be curious or possibly get something from this as well. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from because there have been times in the past before I have gotten to the level of confidence that I have now before I have become this new version of self because I'm constantly becoming a new version of self, reinventing myself, um, death and rebirth phoenix vibes as hopefully all of us are doing as time goes on because we're the goal is to continue to evolve and change and grow and elevate. Although there are some people, I saw a meme recently that was like basically saying that some people are not meant to evolve <laughs> because some people are meant to be here to show us what it looks like when we don't, basically. So, but anyway, thankfully, I'm continuing to evolve and grow and change. So, I can relate, the, a past version of myself can relate to your question and your concern because before I was in the relationship that I am now and even before I was single, before the relationship that I am in now, I was in very insecure dynamics insecurity on both sides, but I know myself personally, the old version of myself, I was very insecure, lacking self-esteem, in some ways lacking self-awareness, lacking confidence, um, a bit naive in many ways, um, and had, you know, some jealousy issues myself back in the day. Um, so, in those times, I understand where you're coming from because back then, I was so insecure and jealous. Just to give you some background, the situationship I was in was off and on for years. Um, and I was always so insecure because this person would not fully commit in any form, <laughs> the way I was truly meeting, but yet would not let me go, but also they were not changing, um, and would always kind of breadcrumb me and give me just enough to have me hanging on because I was so insecure during that time that I didn't know better, or maybe I knew better, but was too scared to really let go, whatever it might be. But anyway, I can understand where you're coming from because during that time I was so insecure and jealous that whenever... I would see other women, I was constantly wondering, is that his type? Is that what he really wants? Or like just th simply thinking that there's so many women in the world that he could be more drawn to or like better or be tempted by, like it was just not a healthy place. And I was also a very anxious, 
attachment style back then if you if you're into the attachment styles now i thankfully will call myself a secure attachment style but i just say all that to say that i understand where you're coming from and that that place of constantly being jealous and i just saw i see two white butterflies flying by right now out the window that may be a message for you um of transformation and cleansing of the past and evolving so you as in the person who requested this but also anybody who can relate to this or needs to hear it so i say all that to say that that's not a healthy place and at the end of the day i always like to say that even if the other person says they love you or even if they love you or even if you get a reading and the reading says that that person loves you the more important question is do you feel loved and whether that person is showing you all the ways that they can love you or not, if you're still not feeling it and if you're still constantly feeling jealous and insecure and worried and all of that, then that also means that there's the more important question is, do you feel loved? And also how, how can you get to a place of loving yourself? And for me, it was to walk away from the, those situations. And my situation was a situation ship. Other people may be in more of a situation where maybe it's a marriage or something like that, in which that is something to be taken more seriously, but I don't want anybody to also feel like there's no way out of that either because you always do have a choice there's a way to get out of that as well if you feel like it's not growing or evolving and if the efforts are not changing because it wasn't until either being hurt so badly that I had to walk away or um, them, shoot, them, them dealing, finding out they were dealing with somebody else that, that also made me walk away. <laughs> um, I was that person who kept trying and trying and trying and holding on to hope or remembering the past or remembering the feeling I had with that person at one point, struggling with realizing that that's just not how it is anymore as things went on. And so I feel, if I'm being fully honest, I feel my guide stepped in at that point and kind of remove the person tower card moments and epiphanies type thing um before I realized but then there had also been other people other situationships other relationships that were also not not as healthy as I deserved and definitely nothing like the marriage I have with the person I'm with now um and that was because I was still not choosing self in a way I was still settling for less. I was still um, too afraid to start over. So I would keep trying or, or keep holding on. So eventually the universe stepped in and the only, what, helped, what started me on the path towards confidence was being removed from that. Now your situation or whoever may watching this may be a little bit different maybe you do feel like you want to keep trying and if that's the case i would say number one the both of you both have to be willing to try but also you may want to start your own healing journey journey as on a solo path such as therapy or something like that to kind of get to more a place of figuring out your own core issues and how to grow from that and learn from it. Because if you don't have that love of self, and it's not to say you don't love yourself, but if you don't have that love of self to where you take the risk to start over <laughs> um, or take the risk to really speak up, which could mean things being separated, for example, then you're going to be blocking your own blessings continuously. So it would be to start with, it would be to start with an honest reflection of, have you really already tried? 
And are they trying as well? And if not, then maybe time to choose yourself as the first step. That That is an act of confidence right there to walk away if need be. And it's in those times of heartbreak and hurt that we begin to really self-reflect and that we begin to really see what what we really want and what we were missing in that situation that hurt us or what red flags we ignored so that ideally we don't keep falling for those same red flags moving forward. Um, it's like that saying, we need, we need to learn how to let go of who or what has already let go of us. So there's that. So I guess you could say one of the steps towards that confidence was that Phoenix energy of a part of me dying off and being broken down and going through pain and then rebirthed and rising up and handling the next situation better than the one before, even though that there were still some lessons and hurt as time went on and there were definitely times of loneliness and all of that. <clears throat> For me personally, and again, I'm only sharing my stories because that's the only way I can explain how I got here, <laughs> which is what you're asking basically is um, after years of choosing the person that did not choose me and hoping that they would somehow realize how amazing I was and then also evolve or being stuck in the past of how things were in the beginning and realizing that things were no longer that way. After all of that, I was sort of, you could say, convinced and a bit manipulated as well into a relationship with someone who was the, the extreme opposite of the people of the past. And it was with the nice guy. And although this was a nice guy, there were still so many other things that were not matching or resonating with me with what I truly wanted and needed that that was also settling. And in that situation, I walked away from by choice. So at that point, I had had both sides of the coin, both sides of the spectrum, um, universe having forcing me to move on. And then in another situation, me choosing to move on um that I then entered this space of the unknown <laughs> and at that point I just wanted peace so badly that I no longer wanted to deal with anyone that didn't resonate with me in the most important ways that I felt I needed and I had already done and redone <laughs> the manifestation list of my divine partnership and the vision board and all of this and these experiences were also co-creating the relationship i'm now in but that being said um i had experienced both sides and i was in a place where i just if it was disrupting my peace it was costing too much it didn't matter what the scenario was bad boy or nice guy it, or insecure guy or um dysfunctional situation whatever it was if it was disrupting my peace I just couldn't do it anymore and I was just so ready to just embrace being single and getting back to goals and and learning about myself even more and when I got to that place that's when things really began to change for me um I felt free and I felt like I was at a place where I was finally the most confident I'd ever been because I didn't have anything constantly draining my energy on a day-to-day -day basis, depending upon what they were doing, you know? So, and then after that, I met my now husband um, very shortly after uh, choosing to walk away, choosing self and, and stepping into that freedom and confidence and peace. But I say all that to say that even though it may sound like that, that part of the story happened pretty quickly. It had been literally years from childhood on up leading up to that point because each 
situation, scenario, dynamic taught me something different as time went on. Um, also throughout that time, a lot of it was simply growth and maturity that came with aging, I guess. <laughs> um, learning to accept things about myself. There were times in my life when I didn't like certain things about my physical appearance when I was much younger. Now I love those things about myself just because it's more of stepping into maturity and acceptance and part of that is aging. Um, realizing that I am a representation of my ancestors and I look like them and that is something to be proud of, you know. Um, And the things that, certain things that you maybe can make you feel a bit more confident could be little things like, okay, if if a little bit of makeup makes you feel confident and makes you feel like you're bringing your best foot forward, then put on that makeup. You know what I mean? It, think of it more as like an accessory or, or an enhancement, but not a need. And if you feel like it's a need, then there's a deeper issue that may require deeper help. And so then I encourage you to get that help, therapy or whatever it may be. Um, another thing that helped my confidence is honestly my spiritual beliefs. So taking my power back was very much connected with my spiritual beliefs and coming into my psychic abilities and gifts and learning things such as the law of attraction and tarot and oracle and tapping into my natural abilities. All of that is, was also a step into my confidence because there had been so many times when I felt a certain way and then I looked back and I ended up being right. And that was both in negative situations and very positive ones. And there was a part of me that just kept believing that if I exist, then there has to be out there the, a person that compliments, that is in alignment with, that truly vibes with who I am. And so things like mantra and affirmation on a daily basis really helped with that as well. And it's kind of like, I forget if it's 40 days or 60 days, whatever it is to create a new habit, um, doing those mantras and affirmations and just changing activity, changing little things throughout my day-to-day -day activities and incorporating more of my spirituality for my own personal growth, like pulling a card on what I need to know today or pulling a card on how I can grow today every single day. All of these things can continue to aid towards stepping into more confidence for me personally that's what worked for me maybe also pulling the card on on a day-to-day -day basis of how can i be more confident in, in myself today you know and they i'm sure there's decks i know like there's self-care decks and stuff so i'm sure that there's other decks out there that are geared more sort towards that sort of healing as well so <clears throat> and the best honestly just time Time, lessons, maturity, and the desire and mental um, openness and awareness and thirst to learn and to evolve and have the best are things that kind of got me to more of this confident place. But it definitely was not a quick thing. Um, and there's no one way to go about this either. Um This may also be a little weird, but this is also something I did. You know, for example, social media. Some people will go on social media and see a beautiful woman or something like that, and that make them feel insecure. And yes, there have been times in my life before tapping into more of confidence and getting into more of a secure place within self and, and within self and even into a secure, happy, loving relationship. There have been times in the past year, in the past, yeah, I might have compared myself. But as time went on, I began to look at things differently. And if I saw a beautiful woman, 
I would think to myself, what about this woman on a surface level? Because sometimes you don't really know much about that person and what they're really like behind the scenes, at least not initially. But what, what about this person on a surface level is coming across as beautiful to me? And what, in a positive way, how can I channel that into myself? And I started looking at that things that way and taking notes. And it's like, as time went on, I began to see myself with all of those different forms of beauty because I was channeling it into myself. And whether you choose to see that as due to me continuing to, to tell that to myself and it worked, it worked. Whether you see that as me absorbing certain frequencies, it worked. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but it was more in the sense of like, not really taking from the energy of that person, but learning and studying what that energy was that I perceived as they're putting off and why that was appealing to me. So if, if anything, it was more of like a dive into myself that was triggered by that beautiful image of that person or whatever it is. Um, and I was talking to a friend of mine a long while back now, but I think it was within the past year at least. And she was saying how she has also learned to use jealousy in more of a positive light because jealousy is a natural thing. If it's getting to a point where it's destroying your relationships and your life, then that's a, that's a different kind of, um, energy that needs to be really helped with but in more of simpler terms jealousy is natural but to use it in a positive way it's more of to look at it kind of how I was talking about the example before of how I was using those energies to look deep within myself using what you perceive to be jealous of or or yeah what you perceive to be jealous of, it's kind of, in a way, just showing you a desire that you have. And then taking that desire, not hating on that person or their situation, because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but to then take that desire and take a step towards achieving it, gaining it. And so, if you're in a situation that you had the desire for a certain kind of relationship or a partner that makes you feel a certain kind of way or like affirms certain things to you or spends quality time or has the love language that shows you love that speaks to you and vice versa to them. If you're with a partner that isn't doing that, then they're only standing in the way of that desire. So it's blocking your blessings. So again, that kind of would come to most likely either you having to walk away or things getting so bad that the universe kind of removes you from the situation altogether. And then you kind of start from scratch sort of thing. But, you know, <clears throat> if you do notice deep down or feel deep down that, that your partner is willing and wanting to work on things, then the next step, I guess, would be to present that desire to work on things and then take those steps together therapy, making little changes, showing your efforts of change, but really evaluating if they are matching your energy in the sense of, are they making changes too? Are they trying to? So yeah, hopefully this makes sense. I feel like I'm just rambling at this point, but yeah, mostly it was just learned experiences and the desire and openness to grow and evolve and also to receive guidance from others because if you get stuck in this victim mentality of blaming everyone else for your insecurities and you being the way that you are like similar how people might blame a parent for their issues even though they're a grown person at this time it's not to discount their experiences of pain and and how they were hurt but at some point in life it's, it comes down to like a conscious choice to take steps to overcome that and to evolve into something different. Does that make sense? At least in my opinion. So 
at some point you can't keep blaming the other person for your jealousy and whatnot because at the end of the day this you would still be you're still choosing that person so you either work through it and work to overcome or you remove yourself from it and work on yourself um I would say just keep this in mind as well. It can, from the law of attraction perspective, um, if you're you're desiring one version of things but you're consciously choosing another, that continues to. It's like. That continues to continue to put you on a detour or reroute towards your true desire over and over and over, which prolongs things, creating blockages for the person or the thing or the scenario, even a version of self that you truly desire to be. When you say you desire and want this, but you keep choosing this over here instead. So at what point do you choose the path that allows for you to step into that true desire? You know, and that may require help. It may require help, whether that help is therapy, friends, family, readings by people you trust. I would just say, always remember though, that these tools, even spirituality, affirmations, all the trash, all these things, um, you still have power within it all. And um, reading, spirituality, divination tools, all of that are best to navigate things. But just remember, things are not set in stone as far as future goes. It's constantly changing moment to moment depending upon what you're doing now in the present. So hopefully this was helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.